friend of me? Is he a friend of me? What? Where you been? Well, I can't go to Cuba for no. two months? No. No Cuba? No. Where you been? Some beautiful things in Cuba, dog. Like? Beautiful things in Cuba. Like? Women. Trees. No more Fidel Castro, of course. It's Cuba, man. It's a lot of beautiful shit in Cuba. You don't like Cuba? How about Cuban food? <laughs> <laughs> no, man. Titus, get, give them a short summary. The, the, uh, what, what they... Something. They gonna wanna know where... Oh, they, they gonna wanna know... Okay, y'all really wanna What's know? Y'all wanna know where I've been at? Little Ben. Little Ben. Y'all wanna know ben, where... Ben G's. Oh, blew it. That's, you that's blew pretty it. much... You blew it. That phone dropping pretty much sums up everything I need to say without saying anything at all. But you gotta tell them something. Tell them something. How are you gonna say it? I don't care. Where you been? Why haven't you been here? I, I got a magic button underneath my hand right here. Just hit that bitch. And I disappear. And I go into upgrade mode like a fucking transformer. And then I just pop up back here. Well, damn. I wish I had one of those. I'll get you one. I got the plug on that for the 50. We'll talk about that after the show. Yeah, you better get that. Yeah. You blew it! Yeah. Yeah. Anyways, this is Benji Nemo, man. If y'all was watching the show since the beginning, he was on this bitch. Uh Uh-huh. I asked him to come back on the show for the uh, St. Patrick's Day special. Uh Uh-huh. Special. For y'all that don't know, I'm Irish. Yeah, me too. And him too. Me too. Yeah. His 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 beer has a little more Irish. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, I my shit just uh-huh. got the slop. You know what I mean? Yeah. I got the stems of it. You know what I mean? But his shit got a little orange to yeah. it, or orange. You know what I mean? Yeah. Make it sound nice. Leprechaun style. So what you doing for St. Patrick's Day, dog? This people are gonna be watching this on St. Patrick's Day. That's why we got green on. So we like, what up, man? Well, okay. You really wanna know what I'm what I'm gonna be doing on St. Patrick's Day? No, today is St. Patrick's Day. That's how they're watching it. Well, this is St. Patrick's Day. So what I'm going to be doing today, <laughs> originally what I wanted to do was go to Cali Fest, mm-hmm. which our good friend Chris, Chris Cali puts on every year, mm-hmm. which another good friend of ours, Jordan Palmer, Who? over there. Ooh. Jordan Palmer. You know the name. That's the camera. Rap too. Yeah, he rap too. Pretty dope. He dope as fuck. He make great ninety second songs. <laughs> yeah, he does. <laughs> Incredible. Captain Giggles. <laughs> Captain Giggles, buddy. Yeah, yeah. So the original plan, and this is gonna suck. I have to say that the original plan was to go to that and support the homies. You know what I mean? I haven't been out in a minute for everybody that obviously don't know. But uh, you know, it just became one of those things where. I got to focus on the family, you know what I mean? Having a little family get together at some local bar, which I will not disclose, and just try to, you know, tighten no up the bond. No autographs. Bi- yeah, no autographs, you know. <laughs> I'm trying to I'm trying to break the cycle, not the bond, you know what I mean? Right. That's all so, I'm trying to do, you know? Yeah, I'm about to just, uh, I'm about to throw my shit on and uh, go get lit with my chick, you know what I mean? Tear the Feel that. As much as we can. Feel Stay that. safe. Feel that. Be safe. Be safe. Everybody be safe on your St. Patrick's Day endeavors. Please do. And please note that we do have things like Uber and Lyft. Or walking. Or walking. Or just sitting there. And just wait. You ain't got to force it all the time. Please please don't be that guy that clearly knows he's drunk and says, Oh, no, I'm fine. You blew it! I'm fine. No, you're not fine, bud. You blew it! Fuck around and end up. With your car crash. And then you're going to get fined, but... And then get somebody hurt or some stupid shit. Yes, please don't do that. So anyways, it's cool to have you back, brother. Thank you, brother. Uh, it's good to be back. Yeah. Uh, it's part of my corona break. Boy. More like a... Uh, more like a... Uh, interruption. The interruption. There's a break and there's an interruption. That was an interruption. Yeah. Anyway, so let's get to it. <laughs> Benji Neal on the motherfucking episode 13. Happy St. Patrick's Day, on. motherfucker. My name is Mike Flames. It's my main bitch. This is my side bitch. Uh-huh. What up, bitch? Uh-huh. Yeah. I can't look at that one, though. She too nice. I can only see this one. This you know bitch saying? right here could never be mine. Never? This my girl. Well, I thought that was... What? 
Cause this is the main. I thought I had to think for her though. You supposed to have a thing for her. But what are we doing? You supposed to have a thing for her. This is the good one. Are we? She all right. Are you telling me that this this Kellogg's this Kroger's? Kroger brand everything in that case. Yeah. So let's get to it. I got some topics you want to run through with me. Let's get it. Let's Episode get it. Episode thirteen. So let's get it. I, I just shot a bear cap. Completely airballed that. Clearly, the luck of the Irish was not so on your side on that shot. Bro. I don't even know if I want to do this in order. Uh, let's. I want to go into the OJ OJ tape. Oh, okay. Release. Let's talk about that. And his hypothetical uh, snitching on him. Yeah, himself. hypothetical <laughs> confession. What the fuck, man? You know I, I thought, what the fuck, man? Yeah, I thought it was crazy that the 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 lady that helped him write that book was the one that suggested that he put the if I did it in front of that. He wanted to literally name the book I did it, and then she told him to add the if to add I mean, plausible it. deniability. Think about, think about what rappers do though. Think about it like this: rappers always brag about the shit they got away with. Yeah. Maybe he, maybe OJ want to rap. You know what I mean? You they ain't got bars. I mean, they they do say you know most athletes want to be rappers, and rappers want to be athletes. It ain't too far fetched. You know what I mean? Right. I never thought about it like that though. That's a good point. And he just he can't believe it. I yeah. I, at this point, it shouldn't be a, a shock to anybody, but it is. But see, what gets me is why now? Why are we just <laughs> why are, why are we just seeing that right like now, years after the fact? Why now? Like I don't, I don't. There's got to be some sort of motive or some bullshit behind that that we, that we don't know. You know what I mean? Because basically, motherfuckers chuck dirt so long. You know they had the OJ special with Cuba Gooding and all that. Oh yeah, story of OJ. Yeah, and they just, you know, even the Jay Z track. That too. You know what I mean, just everything. I think people are just shady, man. It's the media media is shady in general. Yeah, they're, they're going to choose to paint it however they want. We've seen people that. People are going to be like, and, and, and don't get me wrong, there's two sides to it, because you could definitely be like, well, OJ murdered somebody and got away with it, and he should be in jail, which <sighs> maybe rightfully so. Maybe that's what good, rightfully so. That's what um, good lawyers will do, you bud. I can't even, you know, the thing is, Johnny Cochran's a motherfucker. I'd just say that. Uh. No. Um, as far as OJ having that footage come out, though, and, and then for like 2006. Yeah, something like that. Fact check, Jordan. If it's wrong, Jordan, uh, Jordan is Jordan's fault. Yeah. Jordan accepts all accountability for us being wrong. If he doesn't accept it, I'm forcing <laughs> it. Forcing it. But uh, we'll get to it. I think it was 2006 that that came out. It's 2018. Yeah. It's 12 years. That's later. 12 years, bud. You know what I mean? That's kind of fucked up to pull your car on some shit from 12, 12 years ago. Yeah, I know. Like, like 12 just, years ago, you were 10. And for what though? You were 10 years old 12 yeah, years ago. 10. Yeah, I was 10. I was 10 years old. I didn't know shit about the world. All I knew was there was some guy in a Ford Bronco running from the police live on the news. And you could articulate. We we could argue this back and forth all day, but the end, at the end of the day, that shit should have came out immediately. Yeah. If they were really trying to do something about it, isn't that like tampering with evidence or some shit? I mean, technically, if you're withholding something that was there. Well, he did it to himself, and it's after he's. You know, what I mean, that was after the fact because it was it was to promote a book. Yeah. Again. Ugh. He did it to himself. But the whole hypothetically thing, it's like, hypothetically, I'm a piece of shit, squeeze yeah. bag, blah, blah, blah. Like, I don't know why he did that. He got that rare gem of whatever he says and does will not be used against him. But, we, <laughs> but as men, we could never even understand what the fuck he went through with that. Yeah, well, I don't know. Publicity around the cape. Oh, hell yeah. Plub. Plub. I said Plub. plub. Pub, because it's St. Patrick's yeah. Day. Pub. Pub. Yeah. Publicity. Pub. Cheers. Pub G. Cheers. Shout out to Pub G. Cheers. Fuck Fortnite. I just had to throw that in there. I don't even know. I, I, I hate people that play Fortnite. Damn. I do. If y'all play Fortnite and you love that game, 
at Ben Facts. On Please Facebook do come ben at me, Nemo. bro. Come at him. Come at me, bro. Come at him. Please do. Come I play, I played Fortnite for like two weeks, and it was, I just don't get it. You don't win. It's a game that you. What, what's the point of playing a game if you can't win, dog? Yeah, fine. It's not fun though. If I'm not having fun, I'm not there. I'm not there for that. So let's move on with this bullshit. Fuck Fortnite, man. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. So, do you, uh, in conclusion with the OJ segment, okay. uh, do you think, do you think that he was admitting to it? Yeah. Yeah? I think it's it's just, because that's a lot to hold on your conscience for that long. You know what I mean? It's, all, it's like when, when you have a secret and you're just itching to tell somebody, but you know the, the snowball effect that's going to happen when you do tell somebody. Now he's able to do that. I won't. You know what I'm saying? Like if, I like, do if I do something foul that I definitely don't want to be, you know, stuck with, yeah. you know what I mean? I definitely am not going to do no hypotheticals. And I, I definitely can agree. I think he, someone was itching. It was fucking with him. That's a big burden to carry. And I also think it was, it was stupid on his part and it was shady as fuck on the media. Well, fuck shady because I can't call the media shady. The media were doing their job. He was the dumbass. He gave say it, that he, shit. Yeah, he gave him the that, shit. But the media, the where the media becomes shady is you release it twelve years later. Yep, he gave him the ammo. The media held that, it down. They should have released that shit instantly. Yeah. Why tuck that? Why tuck that? That's what I don't understand. And my mind, you, I'm not fully, you know, what'd you say, abreast on the entire situation. What does abreast mean? It's like what? You, that's it's like abreast, like a like aware, informed about. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, let's go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, I was just talking about this shit earlier. Yeah, see, real rapper shit. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, God, yeah. Yeah, hold on. Yeah, yeah, y'all see that? A breast. A breast. Yes. Is that like breast, like chicken breast? Yeah, like a breast, like half of what a woman has nicer. Of just, you know what I'm saying? Just be nice. Be real nice. Nice. Uh, nice. Nutritious. Nutritious. I love dictionaries and thesauruses. They, 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 you know what? The, the, uh, what I find is the hardest thing about dictionaries and thesauruses is you'll read it and become aware of a word, and you'll try to implement it in your daily life. You'll, How do you spell a breast? A B R E A S. That's an yes. A. You got me in the O's. Oh, O oh, breast. Ah, <laughs> you blew it. I got, I got, I guess an O breast would be a what a stripper from Ohio. Don't don't put that on us, bro. Uh, oh, breast. Take it easy, bro. Take it easy. I'm from the four one Nina. Me too. I'm from Ohio. I yeah, yeah, but take it shit. easy. Oh, state, motherfucker. Oh, H. Yeah, yeah, but take it easy. Oh, H. Oh, I O, motherfucker. Yeah. I O. I'm trying to find a fucking. Turning the pages. A breast. A breast. I'm sorry, motherfucker. That. See, see. A breast. Sometimes. You be so in party mode, you be so in the show, you won't stop to learn something. I will. You gonna watch him learn. Stupid motherfucker. Most, most, most people say watch and learn. You gonna watch him learn. <laughs> <laughs> you feel me? We learned it today. What's another great word that I like that I've been trying to use recently? A breast. Read it aloud. Side by side is the first meaning or up to a standard, especially of knowledge. Yeah. Which is like being informed, I guess. Not to sound like a bitch. Yeah. You like that, don't you? I bet y'all motherfuckers. Look, man, my cousin Marquise bought me these for my Shout life. out. And I got Shout a out. Look, he a real one look, for that. Look, I got a, uh, hold on. Dictionary. I got synonyms and antonyms. And, and antonyms. The source. On deck. On Why deck. Why? Let me explain something to you. Real quick. This is a side note. This ain't even supposed to be in the episode. But the reason I have those is because one day the power is going to go out and you ain't going to be able to use Google. Boy. Okay? Jordan, you hear me? One day the power is going to go out and you face. will not be able to use Google. And you have to pick up one of these. These are called books. <laughs> Speaking of these are books. You guys see. And, I, and, 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 and you know what? As quick as you, depending on, especially if you got Boost Mobile, you might be able to look in that book and find your answer quicker than your internet will serve you. Boy. So I have them because 
I'm trying to really, I'm trying to, I'm trying to save this to my hard drive, so to speak. You know what I mean? Yes. And sometimes when I Google it so fast, it comes so easy that I really don't retain it. Yeah. Now. It's almost sometimes like sometimes when I gotta take a second and I gotta find the page and I gotta look at it. Yep. I fucking I learn it. You it, know what I mean? it goes back to a lesson in life as simple as when it's given to you, you will not appreciate it as much if you worked for it. Yeah. And as y'all can see, he worked. Yeah. To figure out what a breast meant. Period. So we we, we gonna appreciate that for life. <laughs> for life, homie. For life. <laughs> for life. For life, homes. Okay, so shout out to all the Mexicans out there. You know, yeah. I know it's St. Patrick's Day, but the, you shout know what I mean. Yeah, May May fifth, like yeah. I fuck with y'all too. Mile, you know yeah. what I mean? That's why we drinking what shout we drinking. Everybody, yeah. Shout out everybody. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, my shit's almost gone. It's about to be child. All child. that. I gotta play catch up, like the rest of my life. Uh, yeah, so randomness. So what we got next on here? How you feel about this whole uh, DJ Envy and uh, Jesus and Miro situation that's going on here? I'm going to let you set it up. For, it, that's the main. Okay, so uh, for those of you that, I mean, not that you have to be living under a rock because not everybody knows what DJ Envy is doing every moment. First of all, what's day. wrong with living under a rock? But obviously, Patrick Starr has no problem with that. Exactly. I'm just saying. I had to put it out there. I'm just playing. Anyway, my bad. My anyway, bad. My you bad. good. You good. You good. Anyway, DJ Envy, right? My guy. You know I'm a Joe Budden fan. We got Clue Tapes. You know what I'm saying? We in there. That's DJ Envy. Uh, you know what I mean? So recently, he went on a show. What was it? Like The View or some shit? And was talking about uh, him and his wife went on a show together. He was talking about... Uh, uh, Affair that he had on his wife, and you know, brought up a lot of shit that you know a lot of men won't do, right, on a camera. And then uh, Jesus and Mero, being the content creators that they are, decided to take that, and they they kind of made a joke about something. His wife said something, and then uh, De- being about the money, yeah, about the money. And then Jesus was like, well. She wasn't against that DJ Envy money though, and uh, DJ Envy got very upset. Yeah, yeah. She was like, uh, he said something about because she, he was he was basically trying to say he was DJ Envy, and then he was dad at home. You know what I mean? And she was like, I ain't know DJ Envy, and then he was like, Oh, you knew them DJ Envy checks. So on the yeah. Breakfast Club, yeah. they guessed on there, and. Um, yeah, maybe we could roll a clip. Bro. That was a joke, MV. I don't for real? That joke when you talk about my wife. All right, uh, I apologize then. You see know what I'm saying? You can talk about me all day. You can make right. jokes to me, but when it comes about my wife and my family, it's a little disrespectful. MV would never do another joke and about you. You should know that. Because you I got kids and a wife. No, I feel you. I feel you. I hear that. But you know what I'm saying? At the end but, of the day. But there is no but. No, there has to be. There, there, there is to be no but when it comes to wife and kids. There is no but. You can talk about me all you want. Make fun of me all you want. But when it's wife and kids, there is no but. Look at my Instagram comments. It's full of like, yo. I don't look at your shit. I don't talk about my wife and my kids. You can play with that. I don't play with that. I don't play with that neither. All right, then you should know that it was respecting it. You should know that immediately. Or something. Show them real fast. But. Uh, the point is, do you think, do you think he overreacted? Why and why not? Do I think DJ Envy overreacted? Yeah. Do you no. think he overreacted? No, I do not. Why? Because that's his wife. Yeah, but why? He was right. He can't. It was the man's but wife. But I mean, but I mean, just, just playing devil's advocate, not to say that. Yeah. I okay. I see what saying, you mean. But, but play like, devil's advocate. Okay. You went on a talk show to talk about your problems. So he opened himself up to it. Now that I agree with. And this is what we do. We talk about just like what we're doing right now. Okay. We're talking about people we don't even fucking know. And they actually know each other. That's the scene. That's, that's the caveat. That's how it's going. They know each other. You know what I mean? But they're not, they're not homies. But, but they got rapport. You know what I mean? I don't have to be your homie homie to be loyal to you. Right. To, 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 to know when, I, when, I'm, when I'm kicking your back in. It's bad enough he did it to himself. You ain't got to do it again just to have content for yourself, for you and your Vice channel. Yeah. And I fuck with Jesus and Mero. Don't get me wrong. I fuck yeah, with them. Too. Hard. Like, they're dope. I like, I remember when Charlemagne had Charlemagne and friends. It was bringing them on there. Like, fucking dope. I fuck with that. Hard. But it's just, you know, certain things. I, I think if, if you're not a battle rapper, you just leave it out. You know what I mean? It's just, it's, you just, 
It, you don't go there. You could talk, DJ Envy said it. You could talk about me all you want. And I live by that same thing. You talk about me all you want. But you talk about my wife and you talk about my kids. They don't got nothing to do with this. I 100% agree. You took the point right in my motherfucking mouth. Basically, what I think he did is he, he checked. He, he, there, there's a fine line. You know what I mean? There's a fine line. Very fine What line. we do with this media, radio, whatever the fuck, and, and get opinionated. And it comes down to if we're cool, there should be. I want you to make fun of me. Don't get me yeah. wrong. I don't want you to get soft just because we're cool. But you talking about my wife? She's defenseless. Yeah. You know what I mean? You, exactly. You, you, and I'm a hundred percent. I'm I'm checking somebody that picks on my chick. Yeah, like it. Hundred percent. Part of me just think that's nature. You know what I mean? That's that's nature doing its thing. Like as men, that's what we do. We pr- we protect people that we love. Whether- and not even just nature, but it. In, in my personal opinion, it, it honestly what it comes down to is like making shit clear. Because one thing that I think media fucks up. I think everyone forgets that there's real lives behind these Exactly. People. Valid point. And he said, and I seen in the interview, he was like, no, my wife seen it. She felt disrespected. You know what I mean? Like you said, they're not battle rappers. So if we're cool, you shouldn't, you shouldn't be saying that. And I get it. They got a show. I don't, I don't think it was malice. You know what I mean? I don't really yeah, me think either. They, me either. Let me say that. Crazy, Let me say that. But I, I, I don't like not to take away from them. You know what I mean? And not to be like, oh, they're pieces of shit because they're just doing what they fucking do every fucking day. Yeah, they, probably, they probably didn't even know what it was going to cause when they were doing it because if they do it on the daily. But realistically, there's a lot of dudes that will let, you know, let shit slide. Yeah. Uh, when it comes to talking shit about their uh, chick yeah. or their wife and or I, whatever. That, that's why I respect Envy because, you know, if you don't draw the line, people are bound to cross it without and, even and, knowing. And to take it a step further... It clearly upset him. Yeah. He spoke on it clearly, and we live in a we live in a generation where y'all motherfuckers, mm-hmm. all y'all, get out your feelings, bro. Stay out your feelings. No, fuck yeah. that. Sometimes you need to be all the way in your feelings. And you need to speak how, how you feel. It's part of being mentally healthy. It's your life. It's your real fucking life. So I shout out DJ Envy. I shout out DJ uh, DJ Sendamero. Yeah, me. all them. I thought I thought it was awesome and hopefully they can, you know, make right of it. You know, hopefully maybe they can go on their show. Maybe he can take his wife and, on her show and they can laugh about yeah, it later. And, and the one thing I did respect is after DJ Envy got all his bars off, got everything out he needed to do, he, he knew that his energy was off in that interview. So he just exited the room. He just removed himself. He didn't ruin it. But you got to you gotta respect that. He didn't ruin it. And that and that could have been a Birdman situation real quick, and we yeah. we wouldn't have got any of that content. Yeah, but it had it had much better substance. Birdman is not good at English. Yeah, all three of y'all. Yeah, tree. oh, I'm talking. Well, we only got two, but trees I'm gonna just make one up. Trees is what we smoke, not what we count. Yeah, we don't. I mean, yeah, you know I mean, I guess Tarzan counts trees, I guess. Yeah, but, but we're not. That's 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 that's, that's come on. Tarzan. Come on, man. What DJ oh. Envy did was uh, commendable. Is that the right word? Is that how you say it? I need to commendable. I commend you. Yeah, yeah. Commendable. Yeah, commendable action, I'll sir. Break that, I'll break that book out again and read some shit on your boy. Pictures. Anyways, shout out DJ Envy and shout out them, man, because they were just doing their job. You know, they they uh they didn't know they crossed the line. I really, in all actuality, I really don't think they. I don't think they thought he would be offended. No, me either. I don't think they thought he would be offended. He let them know that he was offended, and I hope they can make and it And let's be honest, I'm pretty sure somebody in DJ MV's corner has brought that up. You know, the whole... No, he said he's seen it because he watches their show. That's what he said. No, I mean the whole, but you ain't opposed to the money, though. I'm sure they ain't the only ones that have brought that up to I him. I mean, it's just an easy you know thing what I'm saying? to say. Yeah. You know what I mean... But like right that, now, personally, like you know, what I'm saying my girl makes more bread than I do. You know what I mean? Yeah. So he's like, that's not why she fuck with. She fuck with because he he loves her. You know what I mean? Oh, you so can tell. Like, he he loves her. You know what I mean? So he's like, hey, don't say that. 
Say yeah. anything other than that. And, and I think you see, they was chiming in. He didn't. He didn't get mad at nothing else. But them saying that she fucked with him for money. Yeah. That's where he was yeah. like, hold up. And I think that he was hurt because she was hurt. You know what I mean? Yeah, he, like she, she that's what I think hurt was, him. You know what I mean? It's like. You know, as men, when you don't like to see women cry, whether it's your woman or not, you just don't like to see women cry. Right. And you want to do whatever you can to make sure that you can console them. This is that, again, nature kicking in. You know what console. I mean? Console. Console is a street yeah. on the east. Console, yeah. It is a street on the east. Shout out. You know what I'm saying? I don't ever do it. I don't ever, quit it. Quit it. Oh, I don't ever do that on camera. Quit it. But, yeah. Quit it. I don't even go over there, but. So what you think Still about? Side, uh, let's move forward. Shout out all them uh, consult. <laughs> you blew. You blew it. You. You. He said consult for yeah. consult. That's a Toledo thing. If you if you're not in Toledo, you probably won't. Get right it. After this, we go to Nevada Street. No, we're not. <laughs> I'm not. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so many inside so jokes. So what you think about Tory Lanez uh, about to whoop on uh, Travis Ooh, Scott? Oh, so what? So from so let me paint the scenario for you. Go ahead, Travis run Travis Scott, uh, uh, straight up, straight up, rolls up to Tory Lanez's bus. I guess they had some type of conversation. You knew, you knew what the conversation was. Said oh, it was, it was. You knew what it was. It was a whole. Somebody was accusing somebody. It's, Taking somebody's style, you know how rappers get. They invent something and they think it's all them. You know what I mean? And then some guy comes out and kind of sounds away or gets more popping in there. Come on, man. And Come then on, it's, man. you sound like me. So this is a bunch of rapper shit, really. Nothing too deep, but as we've seen, it got pretty ridiculous on that bus. But you want to? So Travis Scott approached Tory Lanez. Tory Lanez said. You either going to apologize or you want to catch the fade or you want to run the fade. Yeah, what you want to do? Basically, you want your five minutes, we can get it. We can get everybody off this bus and we can shoot this fade. That's what he said. My personal opinion on that whole situation, for one, I'm going to shout out whoever was taping that. Yeah. You a Mark. Straight up. In my opinion, I think that was some weak ass shit because... Realistically, shit like that don't need to be taped and put yeah. out. I and I honestly feel like whoever taped that, I will bet you any amount of money. I bet they're yeah. not close to either of them. Yeah, and I bet you if they were, I will bet you yeah. any amount of money they are not close to either of them. Yeah, because that was not for people to see. No, you could clearly tell that wasn't that wasn't staged. And it's that just was, and it's it's just not for people, but. Speaking on it, if we're going to speak on it, I think Travis Scott approached him because there was a conversation that he felt needed to be had. Y'all, like, on some, y'all, let me holler at you. And Tory Lanez is already tuned up. You know what I mean? He he didn't give a fuck. It seemed like he was already ready. Yeah, post show. And already ready. Have uh, you ever said that before? Already I ready. Have. I'm so SpongeBob has. Stupid house. bitch. Uh, yeah, bitch. SpongeBob ready, Got bitch. Got my cameraman. Gang yeah, yeah, motherfucker. Uh, but no, I just feel like he was already aggressive. You know, yeah, he was post already, show. He's probably already in his bag. You know what I mean? And um, ready to talk that talk. Talking real spicy over there. Tory Lanez presented him with the ultimatum of, "Are you apologizing? Or are we catching the fade?" And then said, "Everyone can leave, and we can catch the fade." How do you feel about that? I thought, I thought it was a respectable move that you wanted to catch the fade, but when you're rolling up on the bus with 10, 15 dudes, and there's 10, 15 dudes already on the bus, chances are somebody's bound to get jumped. It was a stupid move. Yes, yeah, more than likely. You know what I mean? Chances are somebody's going to get stumped out. You know how they, it's that, what is it, mob mentality. You know what I mean? One person throws a bottle, and next thing you know, there's a fucking lighter and a match in that bitch. Now you got a fucking Molotov cocktail. Somebody's chin gets cracked. Yes. And we don't want that. I feel like, like I said, in because in, in a lot of people are going to say whoever was soft for their opinions on this, 
my personal opinion, the cameraman was the biggest suck yeah. out of it. Bitch. Because you shouldn't fucking... And understand. if and if you were, like, getting cool with them and, and them was... When you got footage like that and it, TMZ comes out with it, that means somebody got paid for somebody it. Somebody took so the that, bread. So that dude got paid. Yep. Somebody's... And if... You, let's just say they were planning on being friends with either one of the parties, right? So you sort out your homie for a little bit of dollars and some clicks. That's where we That's at. That's what I'm saying. You know neither of them are close. But... But back to the back to the conflict. I fuck with Travis Scott. I like Travis Scott. Me too. Straight up. I don't like him a lot. I like I, him. I, thought, I think he's dope. I, think he's I thought Birds in the Trap Sing McKnight was fire. Yeah. But, like I said, I seen uh, him. Uh, like enough, I said baby. earlier, I seen him that's it, fire. open for Kendrick, you know what I mean, at the palace. He performed on the fucking bird. Like flying. Yeah, the dude. Air. I, I'm you know still I mean? I'm was, still hating on dope. you. I'm still hating on you to this day fuck. because of that. But I think with that whole situation, like, I think it, it was one of these two things. Like, I think Tory just bossed up on him instantly, which probably wasn't necessary. Yeah. Or maybe he felt threatened because Travis Scott is a high power. And ad- adrenaline will do a lot to a motherfucker. Oh, yeah. I mean, if you, you know. Walk, quote unquote problem, you know what I mean? Or if there's something to be discussed and you walk up, especially with Travis Scott, it looked Period. like I don't know, it wasn't there, but it looked like he was solo or at I least mean, not it, as deep as yeah. whatever it was in. Period. But I don't know. He gave him the ultimatum. I think Tory Lane should have punched him if after he didn't leave. Yeah. I mean if 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 you're gonna be the one to make the statement, you have to be the one to follow. Are through. you apologizing? Or are we are fighting? we catching the fade? He gave him two questions. I'm not a tough guy. I'm not a scrapper. I'm not a hitter. And clearly we didn't hear an apology. But all I'm saying is if I do, if if you do hear me give that ultimatum, if somebody doesn't apologize inside. Ten seconds. Uh, I My clock would give him a little longer than that. You probably got 30 to 60, just depending on 30. how many shots I had. Depending on how many shots I had. But there's nothing to talk about. There's nothing to talk about. Yeah, and I didn't, I, I, it just seemed like a whole bunch of like, I, I hate that. Yeah, I just didn't understand. I hate when people, you know, when you be in a club or you be wherever you, I hate saying, I hate even saying when it. You, be you know, when you be in the club. Yeah, you know, when you, you be know, out with you your girl. With the bangers. No, you know, when you be out in public at a bar, wherever the fuck you at, and two motherfuckers is arguing for a minute, it's mm-hmm. like, and nobody hits anybody. And it's very disrespectful, but nothing's happening. Everybody's already looking over there, got their eyes over there, like, "Hey, you, yeah, yeah, you over there, we watch." And that's and you know what happens? That's when somebody else got the girl, somebody else got the money, somebody else had a better time. She outside, wasting time on drama. Straight like up. they both waste wasted their fucking time. You paid that cover charge for nothing. If, if you're still paying the cover charge in 2018, you ain't shit. Work harder. <laughs> Man, lots of people gotta pay a cover charge in 2018. That was for real. Fuck yeah, they be doing covers everywhere. I don't go out that much. See, hey, you gotta live in Toledo, me. bro. Hey, you gotta. Excuse hey, we me. live in Toledo, so bro, you bro in a big city, you paying everywhere you go. Yeah, we did in Chicago. You can't get into. I remember a, that. You can't. Get, you can't get yeah. into a decent spot without maybe kicking. Honestly, I was just trying to sound cool because I know there's like certain spots that I can you go to. Blow it! That uh, you know, I don't have to pay no cover charge. So those of you that let me do that, shout out to you. You know what I mean? So you brought it up earlier. On to the next subject. What's what do that? you think about the whole Joiner and Logic thing? You Ooh. said you said Logic dropped something and shot back. Yeah, Logic uh, dropped his uh. Uh, most recent project, uh, Bobby Tarantino uh. Two, which uh, I didn't listen to fully, but I did hear the the shots that he threw at Joiner. Which I thought I thought it was a real sucker move. I'm gonna be honest. Like, I think you know. Logic is, and I think Joiner. I think Logic yeah. is. Oh, okay. Joiners. Logic is now, and Joiner will always be. But I, at one point, I did like Logic. 
But then there comes a point to where he does a lot of that. And then I got to get it. Then I got to rip it. Then I got to do it. It's a lot of rapidly rap with no substance. No bitches. I can't. I I mean, don't get me wrong. See, no, hold on. Back to the whole joining thing. This is what pissed me off about that whole shit, okay? How you going to diss somebody and say that you get more publicity from me dissing you than your publicist could ever get you, but in that diss, say peace, love, and positivity before you go in? That's like saying... Like, let me start with I love you, and I think we got the power to grow, but I'm about to go in on you. Like, what? The, like you don't throw peace, love, and positivity in uh, the middle of... The logic is just not cut out for this uh, uh, MC war shit. You know what I mean? He should just... He should he should find more substance in his raps, because he's clearly not about the rapidy rap like he thinks he is. Because yeah. uh, the rapidity, when I say rapidity rap, what I mean by that rappers who rap about rapping, rap, yeah, Logic raps a lot about rapping and how good he is at rapping, which all of us do to a certain extent. Yeah, I do it a lot. I do it here and there. Sometimes I don't do it at all, but he does it a lot. That's a lot of his subject matter. And so does Joyner, but Joyner has a creative spin on it that keeps it interesting. Logic is very repetitive with his rapidity rap style. Yeah. Joiner yeah, is very. extremely creative with his rapidity. Oh, rap every style. I think well, I won't say everything because you know, most of what Joiner and drops he has content. I, I can't is, even really say I, the only reason why I say Joiner does have a rapidity rap style is because he has that element solidified yeah. in his attributes. It's in his flow, like he is just it, basically. He does what it I'm gonna say is Logic. Walked in. Logic gets 30. That's all I'm saying. He gets 30 easy. Logic walked in because he's got the fame and he's more popular. Because he of is. a because I mean, of a is. song. Hold on. Wait. Because of a song that was named after a phone number who coincidentally, months before that song came out, whose album was a phone number? Mike. Jones. Joiner. Oh. His album. Okay. Join his album. It was a phone number, right? Yeah, I don't, you can, that's how much I don't. I don't know Logic at all, bro. I don't and him. and Logic put out this song that, and it was the the number was the fucking suicide hotline, bro. You out here suicide hustling? That's what we doing now. Well, I say it is. Word. I say okay. it is. They both was on Tech Nine shit. Sarasha, that's what it all stems yeah. from. Yeah, yeah, okay. Or just, all, I'm letting you know if I ever get a Tech Nine song on there, ain't nobody. If I ever get a chance to be on a Tech Nine song, nobody's. Gonna spit hotter than me on that joint. Yeah, there's no way. And I heard like there was a delay in the process. Yeah, Logic half-assed it and then admitted he half-assed it in the verse. I should have had this to you three months ago, but I fumbled though or whatever the fuck he said. Like you need to quit fucking quit playing video games for a second. Yeah, get off Twitch. Or whatever the fuck you do. Get off Twitch. I, mean, I got Mortal Kombat tattoos. Let's not get it twisted, but I'm an MC first and foremost. I'm hip hop. You know what I mean? I get down to the He did just get 30 million from Def Jam. I will. I'll scrape you. I gotta say that. I will scrape you. I will scrape you in these video games. I'm pressing wrong buttons again. Do that. I'm gonna tag him in this shit. But, uh, yeah. Logic don't want no smoke with Joyner. No. You think so, Jordan? No. He don't want no smoke. He don't want no smoke. Even the cameraman saying no. He said, hell no. What you think about Bow Wow getting punched in this shit? God damn, you see that shit? Ooh. See, I don't know. Hold on. No, bow wow. I don't know. Got punched in his shit. I gotta pose the question just because he's been accused of things like this before. Not this incident in particular, but do you believe it? Was this stage? I think it's. I think. I think it's fucked up that we even have to consider that. Exactly. But. Here's the thing. Let's just say I'm going to punch down on Bow Wow. Let's just say that's what I'm... That's the plan. That's the... That's what we doing. I know I'm about to get sued or I know I'm about to get the shit beat out of me. Two two things are about to... Ha- I'm about to get hit hard one way or another. I'm about to get body bagged or these lawyers so is about I'm to go gonna, bodyguard hard. If I'm going to click your 10, if that's what I'm doing... I'm beating the fuck out of you. I'm not throwing one Superman punch 
and letting it be. And then, and then why did the clip just end? Who was taping? Yeah, that? see, that's where. Why it would gets, you just? Why would you just stop that's it? That's where it gets a little slippery, my boy. He might have had a cricket. <laughs> he might have had a cricket. He might have had a cricket. See, that's Boost what, Mobile. See, the, we was talking earlier. Let's, if you have a cricket, it's crickets for you. I'm just saying. If you if you, if it's 2018, and you still rocking with cricket. Formerly known as Rebel, formerly known as Cricket before that. <laughs> it's crickets for you. Period. It's done. I'm, I, I don't even want to talk about that no more. It ain't even yeah. worth it. It's wasting bandwidth on this fucking network. It was just network. a trendy topic. I thought I would talk about Bow Wow getting punched. Yeah, Bow Wow got punched. And he got, Look it up. Yeah. Look it up. Well, okay, this dude has like a re- reoccurring role on fucking CSI. What the fuck are you doing out here getting socked in your shit? By some dude because you was talking shit about future. That's why I started. Apparently they was in the club and uh, Bow Wow said in the club. There we go in the club. They was in the club. I need to get that queued up. In the club, acapella. In the club. Yeah, in the club. They was or slim club. Yeah. So they was in the club and you know how how it is in the club. You know can't really hear shit, so you got to be in somebody's ear every time you're talking, smelling their beer breath and whatever the fuck they ate that day. You know what I mean? So he was in there, and apparently he said some uh, things about Future that whoever do was that either liked Future or was cool with Future. He didn't take too kindly to that. So sock bow wow, yeah, his fucking man. He waited till after the show. <laughs> Wait in his fucking man. And then first he, of all, yeah, Chuck Liddell Superman punched out. Side note, <laughs> side note for the video, man. Don't get me wrong, I go in spots all the time. And I've actually been blindsided. I thought the way the punch happened was some sucker shit. Yeah, it was a sucker punch. It was definitely, and I've been sucker punched a couple times. It's happened. It is what it is. I don't feel no weaker. But the point is, he got sucker punched, and then the video just ended. But he's Bow Wow. Why would anybody just end the video? I feel like if it was real and it was authentic. They were doing a follow-up. I mean, like. Motherfuckers wouldn't have cut the video that yeah. fast. And there would have been they multiple would have sources. Bow wow sleep, Let's be honest. Show Bow Wow getting punched again. They, whatever. Yeah. There would have been multiple sources. Why do we only got one source? In an age where everybody has a fucking camera in their fucking pocket. Because he was a cricket. They're here again with these fucking crickets. If you have a fucking. Oh my god. Moving forward. Bow Wow got punched. Bow Wow got socked in this shit. Uh, CSI can't investigate this one. Okay, so American Idol's back on. Oh, shit, no way. American what? Idol's back on. Katy Perry Ooh. is a judge on there now. Oh, welcome Katy Perry Sexy to ass American Katy Perry's yeah. on there. There was a Black 19 Widow, year baby. old little dude. Hold on, there was what now? 19 year old dude. And he was a contestant? Yeah. Okay. It was an audition, and I didn't. I didn't watch all of it, but I, I I skimmed through it. Basically, he said he'd never been kissed before. So Katy Perry at said, 19. Katy Perry, yeah. Rough life for you. <laughs> Need a cleanup crew, man. The shit better be. You better. You better get something great, cause, cause yeah. kisses, cause kisses can be really whack, and you might even like her, and it might be really trash. I'm just saying. Uh, you, I think you should just get a kiss out the way, bruh. Do you think he still believes in cooties? Well, let me tell you what happened. Go ahead. Let me tell you what happened. Go ahead. She wait. told him to kiss her on the cheek. Mm-hmm. She was like. Proceeded with the peck. Katy Perry turns. Mm-hmm. Kisses him on the lips. Boy. Hey. Round the second base on your your first, kiss. Your first kiss is a fucking multi-platinum fucking pop star kissed you on one of the biggest fucking shows in American history. Yes. Yeah. Fucking American Idol. Yeah. What do you think he said? What do you think he said? I would think that he would be kind of ecstatic being in today's age. Maybe that's not it. Far on that being ecstatic then. He was 
uncomfortable about it. Whoa. Because he comes from a conservative background. Oh, okay. That explains it. Yeah. And he wanted his first kiss to be someone special. And uh, Katy Perry wasn't special enough, apparently. I guess a multi platinum, big titty fucking millionaire. <laughs> yeah, that ain't special. Hey, man. I want to know what type of bitch him, is. Though. He like, I don't give a fuck if you sold multi platinum records. You got <sighs> big titties. You fucking. Hey. Pretty ass. Fuck you, bitch. He, he you might, special. He, hey, he might be right, though. Russell Brand right. left. Russell Brand left that ass for a reason. You know what I'm saying? He might be right. He might be right. He might know something. We don't even we got don't. a son name, but hey, son, good luck, dog. Shout out to you. Good luck, dog. He probably oh. humbled the fuck out of Katy Perry, though. She probably thought yeah. she was doing the ultimate. She thought. Yeah. Now she fuck around, look at the case, but hey, if that was a dude. Oh, you want to flip it now? Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. If that was a, uh, if that was an older dude, how old is Katy Perry? Katy, Katy Perry is probably thirty something, mid thirties, upper thirties. She's in her thirties. I know she ain't in her twenties. I will tell you that. Yeah, she ain't. If she is, then that. not not that she look old. She banging. Katy Perry wouldn't get a new girl. She, uh, she looks great, but if a dude did some shit like that, he would be fired from American Idol. Yeah. He would not have shit. He'd be a piece of shit. If he had any jobs coming up, any gigs coming up, in the meat fire, motherfuckers be like, "Oh, what are you doing here?" Get out on of here! On his head, head top, put it on. Get he out of here! No bread. So, hey, America, this is the society you created. One of these double standards, guys. Hey, but I think dude gonna end up regretting it. I think he gonna end up regretting. He fucking said it made him uncomfortable because I think for yeah. the rest of his life, motherfuckers gonna be like, "Ah, you the dude, ah, you, yeah. uh, you the dude that can't even accept a kiss." Fucking weirdo. You can't even take a kiss. That's not what I said. I just feel like that's how people are gonna do him. What yeah. I personally think is, I think man, he should have took some time to think about it. Well, maybe he didn't get no time. Uh, yeah, I, who knows? I've definitely been on camera. Do and a blog. Some things. Do a blog if you ever decide you feel different about it. Do a blog about it. I mean, cause. Again, if you firmly believe in what it is you say that you believe in and being a conservative, then you should be able to get on candy camera and explain that situation from your perspective. Because if you don't have your perspective, then we only left to do what we're doing right now, sir. Facts. You know what I mean? Facts. I got to piss. I'm going to make Benji so talk So, we himself. need that. And this dude, Mike, is going to go take a piss. And I'm going to tell y'all why I'm pissed. Okay. Number one reason why I'm pissed, okay? Say word, word, okay? I don't get pissed at people that say word because I say word with my friends all day. Okay. So we touched on Joyner, Lucas, and Logic. I think I got Joyner with the 30, if any of you were wondering. I definitely got Joyner taking the 30. I think Logic's music is okay, but if we're talking purely rapping, I got Joyner taking the 30. Easy. No questions asked. Okay, and then another thing that we didn't talk about, and I'm not playing with y'all, okay? I'm not toying around when I tell y'all that fucking Toys R Us is shut down for good. Sad day. Sad day. If you're a, a child in America, it's a sad day for you. It's a sad day for my childhood. Toys R Us is finito. No more. It's not like Best Buy, where Best Buy is just cutting CDs. Toys R Us is gone. For good. There is no more Toys R Us. All them little commercials, all them shit, all that shit's gone. No more toys. How you feel about that, bro? Toys R Us, done. I remember. 30. Toys R Us got 30 by fucking, who's the other toy place? Let me explain something to you, man. Walmart. Before the platform that y'all are watching this show on, okay, when I was a young buck, young buck, I used to have to walk eighty-seven miles. No, I'm just playing. No, uh, I had to walk. I had to walk a couple blocks to the carryout, and I used to get a Sunday paper. Sunday papers used to be a dollar fifty, mm-hmm. and it would have the ads in it, everything from Best Buy to Toys R Us. And you would get to see the new shit because you couldn't just pull it up on your phone. You know exactly. What I mean? It was either on commercials. And I don't remember them dial-up days. All I wanted to be was, was a Toys R Us. 
Toys R Us kid. That's all I used to <laughs> want to be. So, bro, I remember going to Toys R Us knowing I really ain't about to get shit, but just happy that I'm there. Yeah. Like, that and was we, the destination. That was. You ever had to be like, a, like you going to get like your cousin or your brother or your sister's birthday present or something or somebody else's present and you just got to go? But you got to sample the shit along the way. And you got to know how much the shit costs. So yeah, when you went back home, yeah. you could be like, Mom, it cost six ninety nine right. for this new Stone Cold action figure. Right. Right. Six ninety nine. I remember I had... That's three days of lunch money, Mom. I'm not eating had, for three days. I got a laser tag. I got like the laser... You had the little chest pieces. You like strapped it on. You had the little circle thing. You know, little we did that. Gun. Yeah. And I had that and we got that. From Toys R Us, and I remember like you had the blicky, the laser blicky. Cause what what they used to call it? They used to call it some. It was a sweepstakes. It was like Toys R Us sweepstakes where they gave you like it was almost like supermarket sweep. Damn, I know. that might be super throwback for some of y'all. Damn, I, I probably made myself just seem I remember super that too. old. But I remember that too. But they got to like run through Toys R Us. They got like a minute or something to grab whatever they can, whatever they wanted. Toys R Us kid, man. I'm super sad. But you know what? I was never a Toys R Us kid, man. I was never a Toys R Us kid, but I always wanted to be. I wanted to be, too. (laughs) So bad. We, we, Toys R Us kid, fails. We fails. But in all actuality, man, if you go to Toys R Us and you were shopping for kids, they were always more expensive. Yeah. And we living in the Amazon era, baby. If you Amazon ain't got the Prime discounts. Ooh, ooh. You know what I mean? Yeah. The Target ain't playing. Walmart ain't playing. Walmart and Target is wrecking everything as far as the yeah. discounts. Like they're Yeah. I even seen some shit. Like higher standards, Target, lower prices. Target's, back. Target's, Target's trying to fuck with the grocery stores now because they selling pop and candy and shit cheaper. You know what I mean? I didn't even know just, that. I don't go to Target playing. too much because there ain't no Target on the east side. And y'all know I don't leave the east side. <laughs> You know what I mean? I mean, I do, but like when I do, it's not, you know what I mean? Ain't no target but over there. I hope somehow, some way it doesn't happen. I mm. really do because. Can you imagine growing up and not realizing that Toys R Us was once a place that Well, because existed? then Best Buy and shit like that is going to become the toy store and this. It is the toy store if you think about it. How many fucking five, six year olds, you know, that they don't play with their toys, but they be on that fucking knife. Pad or whatever the fuck it is, yeah, they, but, they they know what the app look like. They know, yeah, but yeah, but that that's that's some. But there's kids are still playing with toys, man. They're, they're still playing with toys. There's you know, I know, God, I know, grown ass still, women still playing with toys, bro. <laughs> Straight up. <laughs> yeah, but the shed ain't closing anytime soon, bro. <laughs> or Cirillas. Yeah, but. <laughs> That's what he's talking about. Uh, but no, I'll be truly sad, man. I will truly be sad if Toys R Us... I, they filed for bankruptcy. And they were supposed to find a buyer. They were saying they got to close like 180 stores. But God now they're saying damn. maybe they're going to close the whole chain at 800 stores. You think they'll get bought out? No, that, that's why they're about to close. Yeah, no one's about to, to, no. They were supposed to have somebody buy them by now. And they did it. You think, somebody, that's why you think they're some, gonna, some dude that just loves Toys R Us will step up? Man, some, I would do it. Some guy that's like us. See, just they're just expensive. They're expensive, and that's what put them out of business. They need that's to be, uh, they need to get hip competitive. to competitive pricing. That's what they need. Price matching. Yeah, that's it. Same shit that Walmart do when you go somewhere and you're like, hey, uh, Myers got the shit te- cheaper. And you pull the shit up, and Walmart's like, okay, we got you, son. But realistically, though, man, it. It's a sign of the times, man. It's actually extremely sad, in my opinion. It because, is it's bad. Because we're okay. If you're not going to Toys R Us, where do you take your kids to see nothing but toys? There's no, there isn't a place. I mean, it's nothing. I mean, what? Walmart is a department store. Target is a department and, store. And Chuck E. Cheese. So you're gonna eliminate toy stores. Chuck E. Cheese yes, is yeah. arcade. No, Chuck E. Cheese got toys that you can't take home with you. You gotta get tickets. See, you gotta spend way more than the prizes is even worth to take them toys home. Facts. But I'm just saying, facts. Toys R Us 
you go in there and it's nothing but toys, bikes, and shit for kids. It's a store there built on no, toys. You cannot buy beef like at Toys R Us. KB Toy Works. KB Toy, I remember that. Yeah. In the EB they, Games. They're going to yeah. eliminate toy stores. And slowly what's going to happen is everybody's going to be grown. They're going to yeah. take away the creative mind. They're, They're going to take away doing the it. imagination. But I'm saying... Toys R Us did it to themselves. Yeah. You have to be smart with business. Just so, lower your fucking prices. Take the L at the end of the it's year. Too late. It's too late. I mean, I don't, I don't know if the toy companies are companies that get bailouts like the rest of these fucking companies. And they're probably not going to get a fucking bailout. But just lower your fucking prices. Is it that hard? I mean, I don't know shit. I'm just talking shit. I ain't shit. I don't know how to Obviously run no fucking it is Toys R Us. Because they put themselves in that spot. Yeah, right. So today... Somebody got greedy along the way, though. That's all I'm saying. So today... I'm going to end y'all on a sad note. Ooh. Toys R Us is going out of business. Sad. Remember when you used to want toys? Yes. Remember when you used to want toys? Just know that everything going under your tree. Didn't. Think about it, man. Fuck that. I'm serious. Like I was saying, I used to walk two blocks, pay the dollar fifty to get the newspaper just to be able to look at toys on a fucking toys. piece of paper. Just to be able to know the new shit that's happening. Toys. This is before a fucking Google and a smartphone and all that shit. Toys. These, what is going to happen is kids are going to be forced to be grown even faster. Yeah. You take away the toy stores. They're being robbed of their innocence. Damn, that just took a deep, dark turn. Oh, shit. Man, Disney don't drop yeah. movies like they used to either. Oh, you know yeah. I mean? And they like, bought out everything. Disney's buying shit like it ain't nothing. So oh, maybe God. this St. Patrick's Day isn't so lucky. Hey, don't say that. The day ain't done yet. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, see, that's one thing we don't do. Episode 13, motherfucker. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Toys yeah. R Us going out of business. Yeah. And y'all better enjoy y'all St. Patrick's Day. Drink way more than you think you should. <laughs> yeah. Please, yeah. Yeah. And just make sure you're right. Hey, hey, and let me say this. We about to wrap this up, but yeah. if you get sick and disgusting and embarrassing, and you somebody helps you out, don't just thank them. Do something for them. Like, if you puke on your pants and you pass out and somebody get you to the crib, get you in your bed, get you home safe. Cash up them there 50. And all you is be like, oh, thanks, bro. You soft. You whack. Super whack. Man, you got to get them chicken wings, whatever they fit. If they don't like chicken yeah. wings, well, they don't like chicken wings. You probably shouldn't be friends with them. Yeah. <laughs> that's That's true, though. Like. Unless they're vegan or vegetarian, that's the only exception. I've. Uh, I'll give them a pass uh, because they're different types of people. But if you, if you, don't get me wrong, I, I envy vegans like that to have that strength to not eat something. DJ something envy delicious. vegans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do because that's a I think that's a lot of strength. Episode thirteen, motherfucker. We better get off subject. We out here late as fuck, bitch. Yeah. Too late. be safe. Drink your beers. Brush your teeth. Uber and, and thank the stars, bitch. Yeah, Uber and Lyft and thank the stars, motherfucker. Enjoy your St. Patrick's Day. We out this bitch. I'll see y'all again in another five months when I get back from Cuba again. <laughs>